Welcome to this very brief but important occasion as we come to accept this generous donation of musical instruments from the Guernsey Music Service. This new partnership has been created out of our mutual belief that music is a critical part of human development. No matter what your age, your ability, through music of all varieties, you can develop the skills to express yourself, to lose yourself, to be social, to learn, to have fun, and most of all, to just be yourself. I would like to thank the Lieutenant Governor of Guernsey for his support and to Tim Wright and the Guernsey Music Service for the enthusiasm, kindness and energy to get this new relationship between Guernsey and Montserrat off the ground. Today we receive a drum kit, violins, violas, clarinets, French horns, cellos and the music to support it all. These will I know all be put to good use by Mr Herman Cupid Francis and his supporters and small beginnings. And I urge today the parents of the children that attend orchestra to embrace this opportunity, to encourage practice in between classes, and to be very proud of your children for having the courage to start from scratch and learn new music. Please support them, help them continue to develop, and most of all, make sure they have fun. Connections come along when you least expect them. I reached out across the British family for a partner to collaborate with us here, and Guernsey reached back, so the connection is made. For me, it's even more special, as my family on my mother's side are Guernsey, and I've lived there in my younger days. So I know it well, and know some of the similarities with Montserrat, an island, the warmth of the people, and the desire to continue to offer children the best opportunities possible. We then, of course, learned of the connection with the Martin family, and how Sir George and Lady Martin had a house in Alderney, now home to Sir George's daughter, Alexis. And of course, here in Montserrat, we were home to Air Studios, and remain with strong connections with some of the Martin family. I would like to thank the Sir George Martin Foundation for making a donation to the Governor's Office, which will be used to support this partnership moving forward and to bring strong relationships across the two islands. I am delighted today that we have both Lucy and Giles here. Sometimes timing just works, so thank you for both for interrupting your holiday here in Montserrat to join us. We thank you and the Foundation for the continued support for Montserrat and music. And I would like to take this opportunity to publicly say thank you to your mum and dad for all that they've done for this lovely island. I didn't have the pleasure of meeting them, but I feel as though I know them, as so many people here were their friends, and I know remain your friends, and their memory is held by us all with a huge amount of love and affection. Before I hand over to the acting premier, I wanted to say three more thank yous, if I may. Thank you to the government of Montserrat. I'm sure Dr. Joseph is going to set out their commitment, so I will not steal that news. But this is a programme for the children of Montserrat by Montserrat. And it is the widest partnership in place to ensure Montserrat and small beginnings can continue and grow. And having made that linkage, I'm pleased that we're all able to work together to continue to build on what is already in place. I'd like to thank Howard, my husband, for all he does in this area. I know he has as much fun, if not more, than the children at orchestra. But I thank you for giving your time and energy to support this partnership. And of course, to support the person who is my third thank you. Last but by no means least, m least Mr. Herman Cup uh, Francis or Cupid. You tirelessly drive music across Montserrat, be it Steel Pan or Calypso, the Emerald Singers or Small Beginnings. You continue to give your time and energy to ensure music is available, available for all. And specifically in this context, your patience, kindness and enthusiasm with the children at Small Beginnings. It makes something wonderful even more special. This partnership is happening because of you and the work you do here. I'm not sure we say thank you publicly enough, and I know he doesn't seek recognition, but I would like to say thank you, Cupid, for making musical accessible for everyone in Montserrat. I look forward to the next stage of this partnership between Guernsey, the Guernsey Music, and Montserrat, and I thank everyone involved. I now hand over to the Acting Premier, Dr. Samuel Joseph. In a world where everything seems to be going wrong, this donation, this event, is a beacon for everything that has gone right. And one of the things that has gone right is the issue of collaboration and of partnership. Collaboration between the government of Montserrat, the OTAs, the governor, the British government, private individual, the Martin family, Herman Cuty Francis, volunteers who have gotten together and have managed to obtain these instruments for the children of Montserrat for their benefit in terms of their music. So that's one thing that has shown that this has gone right in terms of collaboration and working together. Also, the concept of music and what it shows in an orchestra. If you're playing an orchestra and you're playing your violin and doing your part, perfect. 
and the drummer is not doing their part, the public, the audience hears noise, they don't hear music. In order for the orchestra to work, every person involved in it have to be doing their part. And even if you are doing your part correctly, and your neighbor is not doing their part correctly, you will still not be part of a group that's working, so you will still have to take your time and to assist them to ensure that they have gotten their stuff done. So it's not only you, in general, who have to worry about, am I getting through, but is your neighbor getting through? Is the person next to you also succeeding? Because if they succeed and you succeed, we also succeed. So that shows, again, something good that has come out from this, a metaphor for this donation. Also, volunteerism. So we had Mr. and the governor did it, but I have to do it also. Mr. Hubert Francis, who has been working tirelessly through the years, and he keeps complaining to us, government and others, the amount of work that he has done. Trying and helping the people of Montserrat in terms of transferring his knowledge of music to them so that there's a generation that's coming after. Because we can acquire stuff, but the world works because we come, we learn something from our parents and our elders, and then we pass it on to the younger generation who then continues the cycle. If the cycle breaks, then the knowledge, the music, the art, the literature does not get transferred. So we have to thank Cupid, his team, Howard, who's the, his <laughs> lovely wife has said he's having so much fun. So I'm not sure I should thank him. He already got his thanks from the students who have done all their work, the Martin family, the girls, the, the people who have donated all his equipment to show that if we all work together, in music, we can accomplish things, and we have accomplished things, and we keep accomplishing things if you just remember the message. If you're in a band, if you're in an orchestra, it does not matter if you are doing your part correctly. If the person next to you is not doing their part, you will not have music. In order to have music, all of us have to do our part. So let us do our part, and if we do our part, the, the monster at the world will be a better place. And since I was set up by Her Excellency, the government of Montserrat realized it has to do its part, and we have had complaints, again, from Mr. Herman here, about a permanent place to have his music lessons. So the government is committed to finding a place to have, so it can be housed, so it can have the music with the children, and that we can do our part. The government, now the people of Montserrat, the government, every, all of us can play our instrument and produce the beautiful music that I know we can do. It's a beautiful day today, and I want to first thank the minister who just spoke, the acting premier, for that wonderful metaphor of us all working together, and further thank him for his commitment to do even more to make the orchestra come together as one. It is getting more and more accepted that musical education is an important part of the overall development and well-being and roundedness of individuals. And so I'm pleased to observe that all over the world, musical education is further recognized. But music education is not just theory. To be able to recite a whole lot of words and phrases and so on that are related to music education is just what we call a means to an end. The theory is not the end. I think the ultimate goal of music education is for a child to be able to pick up a musical instrument and play it. And I read a quote from someone, I can't remember now, but I'm on that site with that person, and he said that the quality of music education that one gets should not depend on his ability to buy or pay for it. And so I think this is where this whole thing coming of people who are able to, to donate so that we can afford not only those who can afford it, but everyone. Every child on Montserrat, that's my goal, to be exposed to some sort of music education. And so with these words, I want to thank Her Excellency the Governor um, for making the contact, of course, for the, to the people of Gonsui for donating the instrument to the Martin family. And of course, I must say a special thanks to Mr. Howard, who is 
not assist not only our patron along with his wife, but assist with teaching the children music. And I can assure you that the whole quality of music has lifted since he has become associated with our orchestra. I say thank you to the music fraternity, people like Sipiki here, people like McLeod and so on, who has been supporting the music education. And I, want, I believe I'm saying thank you on behalf of the parents represented here by Corita, who send their children out, who understand and recognize the importance of music education, and who help their children to manage the time so well that they're able to do their other more academic work and still find time to practice and all the rudiments and all the things that they have to do associated with music education. So thank you very much, one and all, for this presentation. And indeed, today is a wonderful day. Thank you. The children of Montserrat will benefit from a donation of musical equipment from the people of Guernsey. Governor Her Excellency Sarah Tucker, Acting Premier Dr. The Honorable Samuel Joseph, and Director of Small Beginnings Music Group Herman Cupid Francis, were on hand at the Johnny Osborne Airport on Monday to receive the generous donation. The effort was spearheaded by Governor Tucker, the children of Sir George Martin, along with Tim Wright, director of the island's Guernsey Music Service, with support from Guernsey's Lieutenant Governor.